Today's session is a mobility session. It's going to be about 20 minutes long. You don't need anything at all, just some space on the floor, a mat if you have one, and whenever you're ready, come and join me in the centre of your mats in Tadasana. So we're going to begin today's session with a quick full body warm up. So we'll start with our wrists and ankles. If you just hold out your hands, you can either begin to circle your wrists just like so, or rotate and rotate one ankle at the same time, or you can interlace your fingers and begin to churn your wrists as well that way to get more kind of deeper into the joints. So once you've done about 10 rotations on that standing on that ankle, we're just going to switch over, keep churning the wrist maybe to go in the other direction and we'll rotate the other ankle as well. So if you're churning, you're just pushing one hand forwards and then to rotate again in the other way, you're pushing with the other hand. So you lead with different hands. So we're just doing about 10 rotations on each ankle. God knows how many on your wrists. <laughs> And then we're just going to come back to centre. We're just going to do a few arm circles, bringing the hands up and around from behind, bringing the arms forwards. And then we're going to go back the other way. And then finally, we're just going to shrug those shoulders as well, shrugging them right up to the ears and pressing the um, shoulder blades all the way back down our spine and then go forwards as well. So we're doing about five rotations in each direction of each of these movements, five to 10. And then just come back to center for me. We're going to inhale as we lift one arm up to the sky, reaching up to the think about lengthening through the spine. Exhale to reach over to the side. Inhale back to center, switch over the arms. Exhale to reach over to the other side. So we're going to just do five each side of these. Moving with your own breath in your own time, always inhaling to lift and lengthen, exhaling to fold and reach, finding that space in the rib cage, in the side body, one more each side, and then we're just going to come back to centre. Take your arms out wide, now we're going to wrap the arms as we twist to look behind us, the hands are going to hit the top of the shoulder and the base of the back, so roughly where your kidneys are. And as you look behind, they're going to just fall naturally as we take a twist. Again, think about inhaling to lift and lengthen as you come back around to the centre. And exhaling to fold and twist deeper. Just going to go for five to ten rotations on each side. I'm going to do one more each side now. And then come back to centre. We're going to then inhale as we reach up tall. Think about really extending and reaching up with your fingertips towards the ceiling. Even take your eye gaze up there. And then as we exhale, we're going to fold at the hips and come down into our Uttanasana floor fold. It's the first one of the day, so bend the knees. Think about drawing the chest over the thighs. So think about trying to meet that belly button to your thighs rather than hunching the shoulders. Crown of the head comes down towards the floor. And you're just going to take opposite hand to opposite elbow and just swim from side to side. You can stay static if you want to, or you can pulse up and down as well. Just feel the stretch in your hamstrings, your glutes, your lower back. It's a really nice one. It's also quite good to de-stress this one, so if you're feeling stress or tense, just take a moment in Uttanasana, ragdoll style. Take two more deep breaths all the way in. Exhale completely on each one. And then on the second exhale, take the hands up to the floor. And we're going to come into down facing dog. So hands come to the front two corners of the mat. Feet go back to the back two corners of the mat roughly. You're spreading your fingers, pressing through your hands, pushing the crown of the head towards the floor. Take a bend in the knees for now. Think about poking your tailbone up towards the ceiling. And as you do that, Rather than hunch the shoulder blades in, pull them apart so your neck is nice and long and loose and you create space across the upper back. Once you've got this nice long length in your back and a nice shoulder set up, you can start to begin to work through those legs, just gently pedaling, alternating from side to side, opening up those hamstrings, those calves. 
but also your hips, your feet, your ankles, they're all getting warmed up in this position. And then if you want to, you can come to still with your feet and just take a few pulses through the shoulders, pressing the crown of the head towards the floor a bit more, opening up that shoulder range, opening up the chest and the arms. And then just take one last deep inhale as you press the ground away, exhale as you press the heels towards the floor. And on the next inhale, we're going to take our right foot outside of our right hand into a lizard lunge. Option here to drop the knee if you want to. We're going to then inhale to lift and twist, opening up the shoulders, exhale to release the hand to the floor, or if mobility allows, tap your elbow. And we're just going to do five reaching twists on that side. Four, five, and then hand goes back down, step back to down facing dog, and then we're going to take the left foot outside of the left hand, drop that back knee, and again, same on this side, so five lifts and twists, inhaling to lift and reach, exhaling to plant the hand back down or tap the elbow to the floor, whatever mobility allows. Who knows at this time in the morning, right? <laughs> Last one, and then plant the hand back down, step back to down facing dog, and then we're just going to roll through to cobra. So we're going to roll the hips through, almost try and meet them at your wrists before you drop them down to the floor. If cobra is too much, you can always come to spokes. We're just going to take a moment there to just rock from side to side, gently loosen off the front body. You can look up towards the ceiling if you want to, or straight ahead, wherever you feel good. Think about pulling those shoulders back and down away from the ears so you're not hunched like this. Press the ground away. And then as you exhale, push back to extended child's pose. So hands are reached out in front of you, forehead to the floor, you're sitting back on your heels. And just take a couple of deep breaths here and we'll begin our session. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then whenever you're ready, slowly come up to a kneeling position. So staying in this kneeling position, we're going to come forwards onto our hands, tuck our toes underneath, and then sit back on our heels. So this is called a toe squat. This is really good for improving um, the movement range in your feet, looking after your feet, stretching off the underneath of your feet. So for runners, or well, most of us who are on our feet all day, this is a really good position to be in. So you can just spend some time just easing back and forth in this toe squat position. You could maybe do this um, while you're watching the TV, while you're working, if you've got something to read, maybe take it to the floor and sit back in this position just for 10 or so breaths. It's quite uncomfortable. You could also do this as um, a kind of combination stretch. So you could take your arm across your body, hold for three or so breaths, and then switch sides and hold for the other one. So you could do some arm stretches as well with this movement in future. So your feet are probably screaming at me now. So come forwards, untuck the toes, flatten them to the floor again, and sit back on your ankles. We're going to come into an ankle rock. So hands can go beside your feet. You're just thinking about lifting your knees off the floor for this one. So you can have your hands by your legs. You can bring them back behind you to lift if mobility allows, or you can try and hold on to your knees if mobility allows. So that's quite a difficult one to begin with. So we'll just start with a few ankle lifts or knee lifts as we go into that ankle rock. We're aiming for about 10 of these. We're probably halfway, so I'm going to do five more. Four, three, two, one, and then I'm going to hold here. So now you'll notice I'm much higher with my knees than I was before. I can take my left hand and hold. I can take my right hand and hold, or I can take both hands and hold. For five, four, three, two, one, and then release yourself out of that position. We're going to come back onto our hands and knees now. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips, and we're going to do the famous cat-cows. So 
We're just going to simply dip our stomachs towards the floor, look up at the ceiling, think about squeezing those shoulder blades together, and then exhaling as you round through the back, squeezing the navel up towards the spine, pressing the ground away and pulling those shoulder blades apart. So think shoulder blades together, shoulder blades apart, navel down, navel up, head down, head up. Inhale to lift, exhale to bend. Inhale to lift, exhale to bend. And again, we're doing five of these. So we're on number three. Inhale to lift, exhale to bend. One more. Inhale to lift, exhale to bend. From here, we're just going to come up into down facing dog. So tuck the toes. Press back to down facing dog. Take a moment there to just pedal up the feet. Open up the hips again. Find that nice long position. So again with that setup, think about bending the knees, spreading the fingers, setting the shoulders wide, pressing the crown of the head and lengthening through the spine, and then pressing the tailbone towards the ceiling. So hopefully you'll have seen that difference in position from me just setting up in that way. From here we can then just take a few pulses again through the shoulders with our feet still, and then walk the feet in toward the hands and come into your Uttanasana um, position. So this time we're gonna keep the hands on the floor or they can hover. We're gonna just limber the pose. So think about it. inhaling to find length in the spine, exhaling to fold deeper. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Two more to go, inhale, Exhale, last one, inhale, reach as far as you can. Exhale, fold deeply, you can even clasp behind your hat, uh, calves and just hold for five, four, three, two, one. Then we're going to inhale as we come all the way up, extended to that, so the palms reach together at the top. Heel toe your feet out to the edges of the mat, find your squat stance. As we exhale, we're gonna come down into our garland pose. So take a nice deep breath with your chest nice and lifted. Use your elbows against your knees, pull your shoulders through. Don't worry if your heels don't touch the floor. You can always use a block or just let them hover. The main thing is keeping a nice lifted chest, trying not to round through the back. So pull those shoulders back and down, tuck that tailbone under, engage those hips, eye gaze forwards, and just take a few deep breaths here. You could even bounce if you want to make this more dynamic. From here, we're gonna take the left hand to the floor, inhale to lift and twist to the right, exhale, release and come to the other side, so inhale to lift and twist to the left, and we're just going to do two more on each side, always inhaling to lift and open, exhaling to return to that folded floor position. Come back to the centre, just take a moment there once more, and then we're going to step back into a low lunge. So come up into um, kind of a wide stance Uttanasana. Take the right foot back, shuffle the left foot inside the hands and drop the back knee to the floor. Reach the heart forwards. Take a nice deep breath, roll the shoulders back and down. Again, think about finding that length in your spine as you try to stretch in your hip flexor and in your groin on the other side. And then we're going to inhale to lift the back knee off the floor. Exhale as we pull the and um, straighten the front leg and then exhale as we fold over our front leg into pyramid pose. So we're going to limber this five times. So we're going to inhale to come to low lunge, exhale to pyramid, inhale to low lunge, exhale to pyramid for three, inhale to low lunge, exhale, pyramid, last one, inhale, low lunge, exhale, pyramid and hold. For five, four, three, two, one. And then we're going to step into Uttanasana. Step back with our left foot now. So we're back in the low lunge, but on the other side. And come into that low lunge position. So think about setting yourself up, finding that stretch in the hip flexor to begin with. Rolling those shoulders back and down, sinking into that groin area. Making sure that this knee doesn't track forwards of that ankle. So need to make sure you shuffle the foot forwards if you need to. When you're ready, we're going to inhale to lift the back knee off the floor, exhale as we pull back and fold over 
that front leg into pyramid pose. Again, we're going to limber this posture. So we're going to inhale to come forward to that low lunge. Exhale, pyramid for two. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid for three. Two more to go. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid for four. Last one. Inhale, low lunge. Exhale, pyramid pose for five. And hold for three, two, one. We're going to come back to that low lunge and then just step back to your down facing dog. Pedal out the feet and then come down onto your hands and knees for thread the needle. So hands under shoulders, knees under hips. We're going to take the left hand through underneath the right arm, shoulder to the floor, look out under the right armpit as you exhale. As you inhale, you're then going to inhale to lift and reach with your left hand up towards the ceiling. We're just going to do two more of these. Inhaling to lift and reach. And then switch sides. So we're doing three each side. So now right arm goes under the left, bringing that right shoulder to the floor, looking up under the left armpit. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale to thread. Inhale to lift and reach. Exhale to thread. We're going to come back up onto our hands and knees and then sit back in hero pose. So this one is a kneeling position. If you're sitting on your heels and this is uncomfortable, feel free to get a block, one of these small ones, or a pillow and place it underneath. Or um, just come up slightly and hover. If you're sat on your heels and this is enough for you, you should feel this stretch in your quads nowhere else. Um, if you want to, you can go further by taking the feet out to the side and come into full hero pose, sliding your bum down in between the gaps so your bum should reach the floor between your feet. If you are kind of finding yourself halfway, again, use a block or a pillow just to support you. And again, as long as there's no pain and the knees stay there, if you find that your knees start hurting, come back up. Don't hurt the knees. You shouldn't feel any discomfort there. So from here, we're just going to reach one arm up. The other arm goes out to the side and then they're going to reach back behind. So I'm going to face the camera so you can see. So they're going to reach fingertips to fingertips and then you're going to go back out as you inhale and exhale to see if you can reach on the other side. You'll find that one side is substantially different to the other. We're just doing three each side or five each side. So that's three four, and then this one, number five, we're going to hold for three, two, one, inhale to change, exhale to grab, and then hold for three, two, one, exhale, release, and just come back up carefully, add to that hero pose, and we're going to sit back into extended child's pose. Before you go down, just watch me a moment, we're going to come into extended child's pose, but with prayer hands, so palms are going to go together. You're going to walk your elbows forwards and then press your head through that space as you pull your hips back or your bum back towards your heels. From here, you're just going to tap the floor with your little fingers, tap your spine with your thumbs and just do 10 of these tricep stretches in extended child's position. So I'm probably about halfway now, so I'm just going to do five more, really pulling back into those triceps four, five, and then I'm just going to relax back fully in extended child's pose. So I'm going to sit back on my heels, forehead to the floor, reaching the hands forwards. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then I'm going to walk my hands all the way over to the right. Take another two or three deep breaths here, finding the stretch in the left side of my body. I've just realised I've gone the other way, but don't worry guys, you can do both sides in your own time. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale, and then as you inhale, come back to centre. Exhale to walk the hands over to the other side, so it doesn't matter which side you went. And again, just two to three breaths on this side. Last deep breath all the way in. Exhale. And then slowly walk the hands 
all the way back to center and then inhale to come all the way up. We're going to slide around onto our bums, slide our hip, hip our bums in towards our heels and then come onto our backs. We're just going to hug our um, knees in towards our chest and then take hold of the left knee. Exhale as you extend the right leg all the way to the floor. Inhale to pull that left knee in towards the chest. And then exhale as you release it. Inhale to bring both knees back up to center. Exhale as you extend the left leg all the way to the floor. And then inhale to pull the right knee in toward the chest. Take a nice deep breath all the way in. Exhale, release it slightly. And then bring both knees back to center. You're going to then place the, knee, the toes on the floor. Keep the heels lifted. Lifted, sorry. And then take your hands out to the side in a T-shaped position, palms facing down. Think about gluing those shoulders to the floor and then just gently drop your knees from side to side for a few window wipers, twisting off the lower back, the lower spine, sort of massaging your glutes and hips as well as you go from side to side. And again, we're just aiming for sort of five to six reps each side. One more each way. And then inhale to bring your knees back in towards your chest, tuck them with both arms, maybe massage your lower back one last time. And then whenever you're ready, just gently come all the way up to seated. And join me in the center of your mat for one last deep inhale as we lift our hands up above our heads, palms together, as we exhale to the forehead, kind thoughts, to the lips, kind words, to the heart, kind feelings. Namaste.